Hello, and welcome to the investment series by SCB Julius Baer, coming to you from our headquarters at Sukhumvit 45 here in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm Joe Caceres, Head of Investment Advisory and Solutions. Thank you for joining us. We recently hosted our year-end market outlook, where we heard from expert international speakers at Julius Baer as we discussed our investment views into the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022. You can find a replay of our virtual event in the link below this video. As we witness some volatility in markets around both COVID variants and inflation concerns, today we would like to explore some of the high conviction solutions that we believe will position your portfolio best for the year ahead. I am joined by two colleagues to discuss these opportunities further with you here today. I'm pleased to welcome Keen Tan, Senior Investment Advisor, back to the investment series. You heard from Keen on structured products in an earlier episode. I am also pleased to introduce Etipo Prasonsap, Senior Investment Advisor, and welcome him to his first investment series. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hello, Joe. Sadiqa. Keen, I'd like to kick off with you. We've recently seen more volatility in markets. What's been concerning clients and what advice have you been giving? Sure, Joe. Much has been said about supply chain woes and rising inflation in the last couple of months. These developments, coupled with the emergence of a new COVID variant recently, has left many investors pondering over whether this will derail the stock market rally that we have witnessed since the Q1 of 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic and the associated lockdowns and restriction measures have made the importance of functioning supply chains and the negative consequences of disrupted supply chains even clearer. Now we acknowledge that price pressures from supply disruptions will likely be stronger and last longer, but expect most of the foregone growth to be offset in 2022. While our wage prices spiral is a distinct possibility, it is rather unlikely to emerge as wages are still rising in line with productivity. It is also important to note that financial markets tend to discount earlier policy tightening. Despite this, risk appetite appears to be well supported, making overall financial conditions still very favourable. As such, high inflation remains predominantly a positive development for the financial markets, as it is understood as a consequence of strong demand rather than a cause for weaker activity ahead. So Keen, against that backdrop that you just described, what are you recommending to clients right now? We believe that sticking with equities is the way to go for clients who are looking for investment returns that beat inflation. In that regard, we have a preference for resilient companies which exhibit the following characteristics. Namely, pricing power through innovative products or services which customers are willing to pay, above average growth patterns that are largely independent of the economic cycle, and thirdly, the ability to protect disruption-free supply chains. Now, Julius Bear Research has selected a basket of 12 companies that reflect innovation and resilience. We see each of them as capable of succeeding even in adverse market conditions or in a disruptive environment. An example of a resilient candidate in the FMCG, and by that I mean the fast-moving consumer goods sector, is a European company which operates on the very high gross margins of more than 70%, yet experiences potential raw material cost increases and supply chain constraints which impact less than 30% of their revenues. This company continues to grow faster and gain market share from smaller competitors. In addition, investors who are interested in these companies but would like to buffer their downside while not compromising upside returns can also choose to participate in them through customized structured product offerings. An example will be the twin win note which we went through in a previous episode. Thank you, Keen. As Keen mentioned, we've discussed twin win notes previously. Please click on the link below if you're interested in finding out more from our earlier investment series on twin win notes. Now I'd like to move to Kunetipo. Kunetipo, we regularly recommend professionally managed solutions when it comes to constructing client portfolios. And especially in times of market distress, those solutions can do a lot to protect and enhance client portfolio returns. Can you share some high conviction managed solutions that you're currently advocating? At SCB to this back, we suggest building a strong portfolio of long-term, 
high quality and professionally managed investment and surrounding that core with high conviction thematic ideas. For the core solution, we strongly recommend our discretionary mandate that continue to perform impressively and we build the satellite with high conviction especially in next generation theme. Let's touch on our recommendation SCB to spare flagship discretionary mandate first. The multi-asset mandate is a pure top-down diversified asset allocation strategy overseen by our global CAO Jeep Bonson. The mandate allows investors to benefit from our CAO views of strategic and tactical costs. The mandate aims to deliver an attractive risk adjusted return over the investment cycle. The mandate has delivered 9.4% year-to-date as of end of October with annualized return around 10% since inception. The second mandate, our flagship global equity mandate, investment in high quality company or resilience company that Ken already touched on. This mandate is, uh, have returned almost 24% exceeding even last year's strong performance. Thanks, Kunitipo. You mentioned next generation themes for satellite investments. Can you give us an example? Next generation investing is not only about identifying structural trends, but also I identify a tactical attractive themes today. Today we will highlight to the future mobility theme. When we talk about this theme, I do believe many investors only think about investment into EV car manufacturer stock. Electronic vehicle or EV sales are in the fast lane as we expect their share of newly sold cars in the world's largest market to rise from 6% in 2020 to nearly 25% by 2025. The future mobility opportunity is about a lot more than just the number of EV cars sold. It involves the reconfiguration of the entire car industry value chains and serves as a catalyst for the integration of digital technology. Our topic fund in this theme invest in structure winner of the revolution in transport toward a low carbon emission, electrify, connected and autonomous future. This fund provides exposure to the entire global future mobility value chain, including the firm that operate in the field of materials, component and system, technology, infrastructure and other transport. The portfolio is built bottom up based on intensive fundamental research that include rigorous ESG analysis. But portfolio construction is also guided by theme. The team would inten intentionally avoid hype stock, such as certain EV manufacturers where valuation may have license to a level not justified by fundamental. This solution has outperformed the broader market as well as the EV-related benchmark. Thank you, Kornetipo. Before we close, I want to touch on one final solution. We've heard a fair bit about equities today, and that's because we continue, as you heard from Keen, to favor them in the current market environment. However, we want to ensure that our clients' fixed income allocations are also as robust as possible. Earlier this year, we advocated that clients diversify a portion of their fixed income exposure to alternative investments, namely a high conviction private credit alternative to bonds in our high conviction solutions shelf. As we close the year, I wanted to report back on how this investment has fared for our clients. In what have proven to be difficult bond markets with fixed income benchmarks showing a high degree of volatility and posting negative year-to-date returns, generally speaking, our private credit solution delivered positive returns every month of 2021, and it has posted year-to-date performance of over 10% an excellent result for our clients. To find out more about private credit, please click the link below to see our investment series on this topic from earlier this year. I'd like to thank Keen and Kunitipo for joining me on today's investment series. Thank you, gentlemen. That concludes today's episode. Not all solutions are suitable for all clients, so please speak to your relationship manager or investment advisor to find out more. As we wind the year down, we want to thank all of you, our clients, for your tremendous support and trust in us across the difficult year of 2021. And on behalf of all of my colleagues here at SCB Julius Bear, we would like to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 
we look forward to seeing you soon and continuing to serve you in 2022. Thank you all, and we will see you in the new year. Sawadee kap.